Until now, I have always had Philips Hue bloom lamps either side of my projector screen. There are two problems with this. The first one is they cast a little bit of light onto the screen itself. The second problem is they're Philips Hue and I hate them. Goodbye Philips Hue, cause you're such a massive balls. I'm finally rid of you, and this lamp is very tall. Bell Owen John probably likes Philips Hue. I bet he's there right now going, Ugh, I like Philips Hue! No, he talks. Elton John. Thanks to Govi for sponsoring today's video and for helping me exit yet another Philips Hue product from my life by sending me their Govi Lyra floor lamp, as well as having this beautiful minimalistic design aesthetic. What? I've been watching interior design shows on Netflix. As well as having this beautiful, minimalistic design aesthetic, this thing also has RGBIC technology, which means that the LEDs can be individually addressed to set different colors along the strip, and to create animations that will have you mesmerized for hours. It has She That Should Not Be Named and Google Home built in. It has an app that will allow you to set colors and recall presets. It can react to music. And it has a remote control, just in case you're a Google Home user who has gotten sick of using their voice to control anything. We'll turn the air purifier off. On? No, it's already on. Turn it off. On? No, off. On. No, off. Turn the f***ing air purifier f***ing off. You f***ing off, off, off. On? As with all Govi RGB IC products, you can disconnect the power and reconnect the power and it will still remember what animation it was doing before that happened. Unlike my Lifex products, which all just seemingly forget at random. You know me, don't you? Yes. If you're about to tell me in the comments section that that joke is getting old, it isn't. It isn't. But if you're after a fresh level of sophistication with your humour, then here is a picture of my missus watching two donkeys have a nice cuddle. The animations range from romantic, which is just pink. Alright then. Did that turn you on? Eh? Wow. An idiot. <laughs> to this very cool firework animation and everything in between. The rainbow effect is my clear favourite, and it's nice to see that Govi have recently added a smooth transition to this effect so that you don't have to create it yourself manually in the DIY section. The DIY section allows you to finger paint the colours across a strip, and then you can animate them using the usual options. Cycle, Gradient, Twinkle, and Breathe. And then you can choose the direction in which you want the animation to flow. You can choose from over 16 million colours, and you can set individual colours along eight separate portions of the strip. In addition to this, there is cool white and warm white and everything in between if you want to simply either study or chill out. People seem to disagree on this one. Some people say that it's not as bright as they'd hoped, and others say that it's too bright. My favourite Amazon review is from this gentleman. Disturbing in your eyes! I don't know about the design of this, but definitely, I don't like it. When sit opposite to eat, disturbing in your eyes is definitely going back. And I am going to stick with my $20 floor stand lamb. Please let me know in the comments what a floor stand lamb is, because there's some pretty weird ideas going on in my head. He's helpfully included a picture to explain why his new floor stand lamb might be disturbing in his eyes. It's supposed to face the wall! The reality is that people are just mental. Not just floor stand lamb guy over here, but the whole population. There is nothing about this lamp that is any different in brightness from any of the other lamps I've experienced throughout my life. 
This is perfectly bright and wonderfully saturated with color. This is as sunny as it gets in the UK. I had to Google what that thing out of my window was. Apparently, it's called blue sky. And look how bright and saturated the lamp is. I just don't understand the rest of the human race. My mind boggles that anybody could think that that isn't bright enough. The Govi Lyra lamp is perfect, not just as an accent light for color, but also perfectly capable as a reading light too. Installing it took about 10 minutes. It's simply a case of screwing a bunch of brackets together and then screwing those brackets into its base. Then you squeeze the light strip into the brackets. What? There's nothing sexual about this. It's an extremely tight fit. I'm slowly kind of like squeezing it down as I'm pulling it, kind of. I don't know. I didn't think it'd be quite this tight. That's not sexual. Without following any further setup, you already have quite a lot of control over it using the bundled remote. The remote can turn it on and off, set between warm and cool white, control brightness, cycle between popular colors, and engage music mode. Hit, ha, hit, ho, hit, ho, wee. There are two types of people that like disco lights in their house. One, supreme weirdos. And two, supreme weirdos. Yes, I know they're the same thing. It was worth mentioning twice. If you are the sort that likes to have a disco in their house, then the microphone on the base of this thing is very sensitive indeed, but if you would like to use your mobile phone to capture the sound instead, then that option is there too. Your phone's mic will capture the sound in exactly the same way and translate that into one of the many animations that this thing is capable of, of which there are plenty. And if you're the sort that likes to have a disco in your house, then the Govi Lyra is for you. Connecting it to She That Should Not Be Named and Google Home is as simple as installing the skill from the Amazon app and then logging in with the same details that you signed up with when you set up the Govi app. You can turn the devices on and off and set the brightness and change color, and you are supposed to be able to also set scenes like the rainbow effect. I can't personally get that to work. I have tried, but she kind of just sits there going, Typical irritatingly cheerful failure message. Cheerful little idiot. You can also use if this then that. We all know that I'm terribly fond of them. I do your big favor. If you'll pay me $9.99 a month for the rest of your life, I return the chips. I, I don't. I do you even bigger favor. You pay now immediately. I give you for $3.99 instead of $5.99. All other customers in a month's time, $9.99. They can go f they go f themselves. But I've noticed that the same functionality is missing. You can do the whole on, off, and set brightness and color, but you can't set scenes like rainbow effect because for whatever reason, that menu is completely empty. I've contacted Govi about the failing in if this then that, and using she that should not be named, and I'm waiting for a response. Once I have one, I shall update the description to let you know what's happening there. I am reliably informed that there is Home Assistant functionality too. If he does that thing where he humps the air yelling Home Assistant, I swear to God it'll be the last straw. I will unsubscribe. Home Assistant! The Home Assistant functionality is an unofficial, unsupported integration created by the community. I haven't personally tried it, so I've just had a quick Google and I can see it is there. If you have any personal experience of it, let me know in the comments how it works. There are only two improvements I think Govi could make to this kit, and the first one is some kind of synchronization with their existing TV kits. If you had a TV kit that had the LED strip behind the TV or the little light bars by the side of it, but they were also synchronized to these, can you imagine how mind-blowing that would be? I'm making that explode again. I'm gonna do it. No, actually. I was just going to say that would be swell. That's all. It would be swell. Told you. The second improvement is related to my big idea. 
I had this big idea that I would use the top section of the lights to light up a picture on my wall and the bottom section of the lights to just give you an ambient glow. This works great, but you can't mix the proper warm and cool whites with a colour. You can only select a white from the colour wheel instead, and those whites aren't nearly as bright as the proper reading whites. It took me ages to Photoshop Jerry Springer out of this picture. My final thought is this. They're awesome! I absolutely love them, and I need to buy more of them. So, I got one, they only sent me one. I would really like another one over the other side of my projector screen. I'd like one in this room to replace that lamp. I think that's what I'm actually gonna do with this one. And I'd like one in the bedroom too, near the bed, just for a reading light and to just cast light onto the wall when we're watching TV. That would be awesome. I only have one, I need like four. And this is another product that the trolls will likely yell at me, Ooh, you could do this so much cheaper if you just bought blah blah blah. The other lights that I've looked at on Google aren't as bright or as saturated and don't have the smart home functionality. This is a sensible price tag for a lamp such as this. It's awesome and you should probably buy one. If you're looking for a very modern lamp with plenty of saturation and plenty of brightness, then Govi have nailed the Lyra. This thing just screams posh hotel as soon as you look at it. It's got a really modern, sleek design, and you actually get to choose whether or not to attach the magnetized part to it to hold onto the remote control. You can take that off if you prefer the clean, sleek look, or put it on if you want the convenience of having the remote connected to it at all times. If you're interested in these things, as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick one up. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, this channel wouldn't exist. I say it every week, it just sounds more contrived all of the time, but seriously, without them, I would not still be doing this. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal. And either way, how flipping well love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. Probably does. It's probably going, Ugh, I like Philip too. That's how Eric, Eric, Eric John. Good. <laughs> And I am going to stick with my $20 floor stand lamb. <laughs>